Welcome back, cowards. I'm here about an hour's drive out of Brisbane in Marburg with my new friend Snowy. I'm here to learn all about Australia's largest bird and of course, find out what it tastes like. I've come here to Emu Heaven to find out as much as I can before I go home and cook up some emu. So let's get to finding out what it's all about. In 1995, Emu Heaven owner Steven Schmidt was recommended emu oil as a rub for his aches and pains. His positive results were unbelievable and he set out to ensure that anyone who wanted it could have access to pure and plentiful emu oil. Emus store fat in a single layer around their body, similar to how a seal would store blubber. It is this fat that is then refined and used as an oil in a huge variety of products ranging from skincare to sleep serum. Emu oil is used to treat high cholesterol, diabetes, skin conditions and almost any ailment you can think of. One of the many byproducts of the oil production is the emu meat itself. This meat is lean, high in protein, rich in iron, and is available directly at the farm. As long as you can get in before it's all gone. All right, cowards, we are back for the most important part of the video, and that is trying the emu meat. Now, between the time that I left the farm and the time I'm here talking to you today, I've shattered my nose in a volleyball game, copping an elbow from my teammate. There was a couple days there where I couldn't really taste or smell anything, so I thought I would postpone this until I could and now we're here. So I'm gonna cook these bad boys up. I've got an emu flap fillet, some emu premium mince, and an emu fan fillet. Thanks so much to everyone at Emu Heaven for providing this meat for us to try. So I'm gonna cook it up in like a variety of different ways so we can try all of it, and then officially know what it's talking about. All right, cowards, I'm back with this insane smorgasbord of emu from Emu Heaven. I've cooked it in a variety of ways, different temperatures, different methods, different preparations, so we can get a really good idea of what it tastes like, so that I can sort of compare it to a few different things and give you guys an even better idea of the experience. The perfect accompaniment for my emu smorgasbord is the official drink of the Coward Club. This is a famous soda co cola. They were kind enough to send me a carton of it, so thanks so much to them for that. It's 100% natural, it's Australian made, zero sugar, there's only 8 calories in a bottle, so it's completely guilt free. They have a huge variety of flavors. You'll find them in like the kombucha slash chilled juice section of your local grocer, because that's how good they are for you. And it's going to go perfectly with our emu. So if you see them on the shelf anywhere, make sure you check them out. As I said, that's the official drink of the Coward Club from this point forward. With our emu, we're going to start with the thinner steak, which is these little bad boys here. Uh, at the farm, they recommended that I just slice it nice and thin, cook it up a couple minutes each side, and see how I go. Bon appetit. Ooh, that's really good. I uh, have been told it tastes like beef, and I love beef, but this sort of, I don't know, it's almost better, like, it just has this flavor, not gamey, but almost like a little richer. There's actually no intramuscular fat in the emu, so all the fat is stored, as I said, in like a layer around the body, so there's no marbling or anything in the meat, which made me think it was gonna be a little bland and a little dry, but it's super juicy, probably leaning more towards a kangaroo flavor than a beef flavor, which obviously for anyone who hasn't tried kangaroo isn't that helpful, but it's not gamey, but it's also, it's like, it's like rich and it tastes a little fatty even though it's not. So I'm really happy with that. And that's like the less premium of the steaks too. So I'm excited to get into one of these big bad boys and see what it's really talking about. This one I cooked probably closer to rare because it's a bit thicker. Yeah, so nice and rare in there. Mm, again, it's just like a really rich beefy beef. Like it's a little more irony than beef. Maybe that's sort of the flavor I'm trying to describe, but man, it's really good. Like I can't believe that it's so good for you and tastes this good because it tastes like it's a little fatty like it would if you were having like an eye fillet or a rib fillet of beef, something with a little bit of marbling. But I mean, yes, there's the fact that I'm a super elite cook, but I don't know. I think emu might just be really good. So I also did some little burger patties here slash rissoles. That'll probably be better on a burger. I didn't put too much into them because I wanted to get the emu flavor, but we'll see what they're talking about. Okay, so the mince probably doesn't lend itself as well to like a rissole or a burger patty. It's a little chewy because of the lack of intramuscular fat, so you don't get that fat mix in the mince that would allow it to be really nice and smooth. So maybe you'd be better off doing like a chili or a spaghetti bolognese with it. The flavor though is really good. It's really similar to the steaks, so I'm gonna quickly wash that down with a bit of my famous Soda Co soda, then give you guys the wrap on it. 
So yeah, essentially, if you get the chance to try Emu, you should absolutely do it. Obviously, if you're in Brisbane, you can head down to Emu Heaven and um, buy some stuff directly from them. If not, I think you can source it online. Make sure you check out the website because it has all of their products on there, all of the information about the Emus, the farm, and the benefits of eating and consuming Emus, meat, and oil. Thanks so much to Emu Heaven for having me out. And of course, thanks so much to you guys for watching this video. Really appreciate all the love that I always get on these. Really appreciate every single person that's taking the time to check these videos out show it to their friends watch them all the way through and leave a like if you did enjoy this video leave another like leave a comment let me know what you think let me know where you want me to go next and uh i'll see you guys soon peace